April and welcome to my Christmas with April series. decorated for Christmas before even Thanksgiving started but since I'm hosting a Friendsgiving this uh, fall I just like I can't force myself to uh, decorate just yet so the Christmas decoration video is gonna come out next uh, on Tuesday so stay tuned for that but for now I'm gonna prepare for it and I'm gonna make a stocking holders last year I had this cute adorable little house stocking holders but you know what I just got tired of it so I decided to make a new set this is so exciting oh if you're new here, please subscribe and hit that notification button to be notified when I'm posting new videos and not to miss any video because this season I'm planning to post twice a week, not just once, but twice. And also comment because you know I recently found out that if you comment on my videos that helps my channel to grow tremendously. So please be kind in this holiday season and yes, support your fellow creator. <laughs> It's such an easy project and actually it doesn't really require mad woodworking skills so if you have any sort of miter saw and uh, a drill yeah you're good to go isn't that awesome and please you know like let me know in the comments below which version of the stocking holder you like the most okay let's do it Merry Christmas so I got a bunch of uh, scrap wood over here and oh damn it uh, oops <laughs> And we're gonna be making uh, a stockings holder from this and this is gonna be like some cute little village I mean because I don't know why I'm kind of obsessed with houses with small little houses making villages So yes, that's gonna be fabulous. Let's get to it So if you have like a lot of scrap wood this project is just super perfect for it I put a miter saw at a 45 degree angle to cut the roofs and I made mine in a variety of different shapes so some of them are facing towards me and some of them on the sides and I kind of feel that the different roof directions make the whole scene look like more organic and more natural. One is already ready! That was that easy! If you want your roofs to be even, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you do, so then you need to find the middle on the board and then cut it through the middle. Because if you don't calculate it and you're just like, gonna start cutting, the roofs may be a bit skewed. But you know what? If this is the look that you're going for, then absolutely go for it. Merry Christmas! And here they are! Yeah, so, so it's very simple, 45 degree cuts. You know, like some of them like this, some of them like this. I love it. I was arranging these uh, houses and I absolutely love the texture of the wood, you know, like and all the wood grain and how it looks, you know, like and especially how it looks with the box. But then I had a problem. Okay guys, so super weird thing happened. I mean, actually not that weird because I'm kind of indecisive. So I love these houses and the texture so much. I mean, they look so incredible in the, in the wooden tones that I don't even want to paint them. But my original idea was to paint them into more Christmassy colors, you know, like, like with the snow and um, falling and windows and all these cute little details. So I decided that I'm gonna make a second set. Yeah, in color, <laughs> because why not, right? Ah! Merry Christmas. Yay, so I determined the size of the base and it's gonna be a little bit more, um, a little bit over two feet because my mantle is six feet and I kind of feel that one third is the perfect, perfect width for this uh, stocking holder. Yay! Okay, it's decided. I'm making a second set of houses and um, yeah, probably gonna make it a little bit different and not all the roofs gonna be angled, but I'm gonna have some of the roofs just like, just skewed. I mean, because those roofs exist, right?
So yeah, we do one more here, one more here. Okay, so I'm gonna try first doing it on the back because I'm not sure how much I'm gonna like it. Air conditioner. Yay! So uh, I'm gonna try the natural um, stain because I need to cover it with something. So the dirty hands of my kids, if they can decide to touch it, um, not gonna completely destroy the wood. Yay! I like it. We've got a winner. Absolutely. Yeah, so it brings out the grain. Merry Christmas. And this is seriously my most favorite part. I mean, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love to paint. I mean, I would not say that I'm a great painter. I think I'm, yeah, I'm okay. But um, it just brings me so much joy. It's insane. Painting these houses, it was super easy. I just used the acrylic paints. I use Arteza for most of my projects and I absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, so I had to mix my paints a little bit with white and uh, I'm gonna tell you about the red in a bit. Yeah, it was uh, it was really fun evening. It probably took me about a couple of hours to paint all the houses and uh, I didn't even want to watch TV at that point because I was just enjoying the silence. My kids were already in bed and uh, I was just enjoying the silence and the process. So to make red color, I had like a bit of trouble at first because um, to, because all the reds that I had, they were like super bright and like just just the original red. So to make it a bit uh, moody, I I added a little bit of white, then I added a bit of blue, and then what helped me is to add a little bit of yellow. So red with yellow brings out this moodiness in red. And uh, I think in the end, it's such a gorgeous color. So for the small details, I used a small brush and I started um, yeah, painting it over, but then I realized that it's not coming out as careful as I wish it was. I mean, I guess I don't have the artist hand, right? And um, I just uh, traced the windows with a paint marker, which made my job so much easier. I also didn't want them all to be alike, so I made some of them yellow, which means that they're on, the lights are on, and some of them they're black, which kind of like in the middle of the night, and uh, yeah, so I think it would add this certain interesting image to the overall uh, picture of our village. And I think by the end I really got a hang of it. I drew on pretty much every house. I drew the uh, small wreath, you know, the Christmas wreath. And I think they look so cute and adorable. And these small little details definitely bring up some magic to this whole village. To attach this um, this adorable, super adorable uh, village, I will be using um, wood glue and red nailer. You also can use the wooden screws, but make sure to uh, drive it like a pilot hole first, and then uh, drive the screw. Because if you're just gonna drive the screw, I'm afraid that it could crack, and you definitely don't want that, right? So yeah, let's do the last final setup. And then we're gonna take it from there. Actually, no, as a fact that uh, the end grain doesn't really glues up with the with the other type of grain. But well, why do I hope that this time is gonna be different? <laughs> because we're gonna bread nail it. Yes. We'll bread nail it.
This is not gonna do it. Yay! This worked. By having this board under, we're gonna make sure that they're on the same level. Reinforce the glue. Yay! Perfect. So I tried to use a bread nail at first and then it didn't really work that well because uh, the houses were a bit wobbly and even though they're not going anywhere, I still wanted it to be super secure because yeah, because the stockings, like when they're gonna have some weight in them, I didn't want the whole thing to tip over. So I took out my drill and uh, I drilled the pilot holes through the houses and then I used the screws. So I used the two and a half inch screws, which and originally I thought it's gonna be too big, but uh, it worked perfect. So yeah, just make sure that when you do that, don't drive the screw directly into the uh, wood. Make a pilot hole first because the pilot hole definitely very helpful. Just final touches, we're gonna attach these little hooks for the uh, stockings and it's ready! I'm so excited, are you excited? Hmm. Yeah, look at these beautiful, beautiful houses. They dried up overnight and now they're ready to be assembled. And the last touch before final reveal, with a hot glue gun, I'm gonna glue the Christmas trees because you know what? I don't trust my kids. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay, guys, and now the moment X, and now you can decide because they're both ready and I'm gonna show it to you. Because, yeah, I just can't, I just can't decide. They both look fabulous. I especially love this very natural, uh, kind of Scandinavian uh, Christmas look of the wooden one. But also, I really love the colors. And you know what? I'm probably gonna make my kids decide which one they want. And I kind of have a feeling they're gonna go for colors. But you never know, right? Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like the video. And uh, yes, I'll see you next time. Bye. Happy holidays! I don't know, hold on. Merry Christmas! And uh, no, happy holiday season! Happy holiday season! Bye! Done. <laughs> the usual. If you're new here, please subscribe and. <clears throat>